way to enhance the garden. Hello there, my name's Tim Walter. I'm a geomancer, that's a house healer, and an alternative life coach. Part of what I do when I work on people's houses is to uh, help them rebalance the earth energy of the house. So even if you haven't got detrimental earth energy flowing through your house, what you can do is work with it on a day-to-day -day basis, like here in the garden, for example. So what I want to show you in a minute is how to find the positive earth energy power center in the garden and the significance of that and how you can work with it to help bring benefit and peace and calm into the, your own private space that is your garden. One of the things that we can do with earth energy is to meditate in the space in the power center, the main power center that is in the house. When it comes to a space like this, like a garden, then we can start to work with dowsing and earth energy and, and plants to optimize the plant, uh, to actually ask the plant, so it sounds daft, but ask the plant where, whether where you want to put it is actually appropriate. Sounds completely bonkers, and there's no way that dear Monty Don, I suspect, would uh, go along with this, of course. But you can communicate with trees, and trees are amazing beings. Um, and they have a character in their own right. It's just that they don't move around a lot, clearly. So I just want to show you something uh, with dowsing here, very briefly, in our garden, uh, in relating to the Earth Energy Power Center. Snowdrops are certainly past their best now, but also we've been digging around them to try to make some space for other things. We've got a lot of work to do in this uh, garden. But what I wanted to show you was with the old rod, uh, just to, there yeah, we go, get an affirmative response, uh, just to look for the main power centre out here in the garden, the main focus for the earth energy. I know it's a mess in the garden, but you know, and there's the dog and tripod and all that stuff. Let's just move the w away from there. So I'm going to stand here and just I asked my rod, I haven't doused yet, so here we go. I'm now going to hold the rod out here, and imagine I had two of them, but obviously I'm holding the camera with one of that hand. So, am I able to find the main power centre for the garden today? Yes, okay. So, therefore, could you please show me which direction? Can you hear that curlew? Isn't that amazing? I love them. So can you show me please the direction of the main, most powerful earth energy power centre, the most beneficial one, in the garden please. Okay, so it's possible that it is actually, is the, is the main power centre right in front of us? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to confirm that by turning this way, sorry about the tripod, but in fact I won't do that. So please show me the direction of the main earth energy power centre in the garden. Okay, so definitely right, there it is. So, is it directly in front of me? Yes. So therefore, uh, please indicate when I am crossing it. So right here, obviously there's nothing to see, but what this tells me is this is a significant place in the garden. Now, all of this to the left here is going to be lawn, it's going to be grass, and that's, uh, we're building that as a bank up there, which is why all that rubble is there, and that bed was going to be moved. So what we need to bear in mind is that there's a great power centre just there to the edge of that bed, which really I would want to be using as a space to sit quietly, meditate, that sort of thing. So that gives me something to focus the design or the layout of the garden around. We've been thinking about what else we can do with that Earth Energy Power Center to make it really obvious and to really make use of it in the garden. And what we've decided is to put in that standing stone that we've brought with us from a previous house. In future videos, I'm going to show you how we put it in, how we orientate it, and how we, it relates to the Earth Energy once we get it in there. And it's not only Earth Energy that's going to be affected. By using dowsing, we'll be able to see how the underground water flows are affected in the garden. Uh, water flows underground are drawn to the stone. So we're going to pop in that stone in the power centre when I can get a hand to get it out there. I'll record it and in future videos I'll show you what's happening with the earth energy, how it's affecting the plants in the garden and what's it's doing, what it's doing to the underground water flows. I think you're going to find it fascinating. So please subscribe 
and just stay in tune because if you subscribe you get notified every time I upload a video and hopefully that's going to be roughly weekly from now on.